har me hearties, it's that time again. Shiver me timbers, splice the main cell, grab your paintbrush. It's time for that easy pirate man. Har har. Right, back at club again this week, and a bit Kings of War, and we're doing 1995, um, Rape of Sleigh Bells next week. So, I'm Royal the Halfling, so, here's my Halflings. So, Arles, Cavalry, uh, Shooting, uh, Harvester, a couple of units, Swords of Infantry, a couple of characters, a couple of volley guns, a tank. There's my chariot. Some more cavalry and uh, howitzer. So I'm playing Simon and his Rift Watched. So got bike wagons, uh, leadership dudes, character, walkers, more infantry blocks, uh, more axe, giant axes, chariots, and then a flying dude. Oh, uh, and of course, Ona. So we are playing control scenario. So we roll to see you first, and Riffords roll to one. So they will be going first. Cheers, mate. <laughs> right, turn one for forged, and obviously a lot came forward. Came forward, came forward, came forward. <laughs> this lot came forward, came forward. John came forward and was a giant that wind blasted him, and he wind blasted my harvest. Over here. Uh, he comes down. So, halflings turn one. Right, turn one for happening. So these guys adjust over here. These guys adjust over here. Put rallying on the gastromancer. These came forward here. These came slightly forward here. Shoot in. But wound on that guy with these bodies. <laughs> Fired both body guns and the archers at the uh, rip walkers. Take them down, and the steam tank, and the hot pot fired at the manticore. Hot pot missed, but steam tank put one wound on the manticore. So moving on to Rift Forge, turn two. Right, turn two for the Rift Forge. So what happened? He, uh, he moved back. He's came forward, had a wind blast by the giant, pushed him out of charge range. So the giant is now within the charge range of the spear spikes. Uh, but these aren't. Over here, the Manticore came in and killed one of the Volligans. These came forward slightly. These came forward slightly. So they were in charge range of these, but not within charge range of these. So, moving on to Halflings, turn two. But then, turn two for the Halflings. So, uh, these moved up here, face up against this guy that backed off. He moved back out of charge range of the Giants. He stayed with the arm. <laughs> but rallying again on her. Um, everything here, so him and the tank and the archers fired at him, but only put a couple of wounds on him, didn't do damage. And then the remaining volley gun and the catapult fired at the rift boards there and managed seven wounds on them. So, moving on to rift boards, turn three. Right, turn three for rift boards. So, what happened here? Not good. This boy went into the flank of these guys, got much to seven, double one. Eh, eh. Giant moved in this direction. So the Morax, these come forward to block up these guys so I can get, can get a flank on the Morax. Over here, this guy killed the Hopple. Uh, over here, these both came forward, Bone is now over here. Um, they were slightly out of range with the wild charge. These didn't roll high enough, so these just moved up to here. So we're to turn three for the halflings. Might have to actually get into combat now. Right, turn three for the halflings. So what happened? This guy flank charged and killed the Manticore. <laughs> the harvester, I got three on my wild charge with this last. 
So Harvester got a flank charge on the Chun, and these guys also charged Chun, and we took it down. These charged uh, these guys, but only managed three wounds, so they're in a bit of trouble. Now I get a flank charge by these guys. Over here. I failed to kill this guy or even waver it. So six wounds on this by the tank. Over here, the shot there put food, four wounds on. Not good enough. And over there, these charged into six wounds again. Did take him down. So moving on to turn four for the Rickforge. Turn four for the happening up for the Rickforge. <laughs> so these killed the small unit of cavalry. These two killed the spear flanks. Over here, he just moved that away the tank. He's killed the last volley gun. Bernard went in here with the guys here to take down the chariots. So, going into turn four for the halflings. So, turn four for the halflings. So, the chariot charged in there, done a couple of wounds, didn't take him down. Charged in there, done a wound, didn't take him down. He turned, shot at this guy, laughed. The stalwarts killed one unit. This guy went in a flank. Come up to 11 wounds. Brutal two. Killed him first time. Double one second time. Uh, chariots uh, wavered. And didn't kill these either. So moving on to Riftforged. Turn five. Riftforged, turn five. So what happened? This flank is now owned by the Ripple Jorks. They moved back. He's killed the chariots. He's killed the cavalry. So all I have is a tank here holding it flank. Over here, he's charged the girl. The gastromaster killed her and turned. And these wavered these guys. So, moving on to turn five. Right. June 5 was happening, so what happened? These backed off and uh, jumped into the woods. So if you're to charge them, they're going to be wavered. Uh, wavered, I mean hindered. He turned the face. He charged into the chariot again. Got eight wounds, so but did take him down. He's wavered again. These guys killed the other Rip Over here, these two fired at this things and put another wound on it but didn't take it down. So we've got to turn six for the Rip Forged. So turn six for the Rip Forged. They charged there into the piggies and got back to nine but only managed to waver them. He was in a waver so Tarot could do nothing. He moved to block up these guys here. These two charged into the tank and wavered it. These guys had just moved around over here to take the zones because we're doing the control start scenario. So, over to Happenings, turn six, what can they do? Turn six for the Happenings. So, what happened? <laughs> the, uh, what's that? I don't know what his name is. Where is he? Master Captain on there, has killed off the Morax. Actually managed to kill the Chariot after three turns of charging it with the Harvester. <laughs> Didn't kill this, double one dip. Did kill the units of Morax that charged in here. Over here, these both collected a control point each. That was two points for Griffin launched. Stalwarts and tank and this guy are in the middle section. So I take this point for one point. I take two points because the harvester is in there. I take one point for that. So it's a four to two in favor of the happenings. Cheers for now.